What's up guys? Now we have our data for our, our lab. We're going to hop to the lab analysis. So if you follow the instructions, you should have clicked on this link. It'll ask you to make a copy of the measurement lab data. So you click on make a copy and this is actually where we're going to put your data into. So we have our data right here. So I'm going to highlight it, copy, and then paste it in here. And what that's going to do for us is allows Google Sheets to make a graph for us, or what Google Sheets calls a chart. So with this data, we're going to highlight it and then click Insert Chart. If you did this correctly, you should get something similar to what I have, but you have a little bit different numbers. So what I see is we have a scatter chart. We have our three graphs, we've got the, the top, the side, and the bottom. And um, we also uh, have a default size. You can change this around a little bit. You know, you make it bigger, make it smaller, however you want. But the thing is, is we have to put in a line of best fit. So we're not going to change anything else, but we're going to click on Customize, Series, and then we're going to scroll down a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on Trend Line, and it'll draw the line of best fit for my data. That'll cause some other options to open up. We'll click on Label, we'll click on Use Equation, and now we have a slope for our line. So I'm going to go ahead and click Exit out of here, and I'm going to scroll in just a little bit. Let's try this. There we go. And we see that my slope is 1.62 of my line. So that means um, for every paper clip I have, I know it's going to be 1.62 grams per paper clip. And then that is going to be the number we use. The number you get on this right side right here, you can kind of ignore it for now. It should be a really small number if you did this correctly. Um, but what we can know is we can go from there. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm just going to hold it there. We can then take this. We can then copy this. So I'm going to click on the graph once. Control C. Slide on back to my lab, insert the graph here, control V. It'll ask if you want to link it or to paste unlinked. Linked is this really cool thing where if we go back and we change our data in the spreadsheet, automatically change it in the document. But for this, um, I would say by default, just keep it linked in case you have to go back and change your data. And there you go. And we have officially uh, pasted our Google Sheets in here. Now, if I wanted to go to, let's say, uh, and um, I would say change our data. Well, we know it's zero paper clips. So we should have a mass of zero. And what you notice is that not only does the line change, but the data with it. And so my data now looks a little bit more accurate, a little bit more closer. And since I did a live link, I go back over here and click update. And then that data is also updated. Okay, guys, if you have any questions after watching this video, please let me know. If not, good luck, and I'll see you in class.